Hello and welcome to East Midlands Today, I'm Elise Chamberlain. First night, everyone from disabled swimmers to aspiring Olympians say they've been left frustrated by Leicester City Council's decision to keep its swimming pools closed. Under the latest easing of restrictions, they are now allowed to reopen. But along with the city's libraries and museums, they're remaining shut, as the authority says staff have been redeployed to help with the COVID effort. Navita Johal reports. Today. Next night, a service has been held at Leicester Cathedral to remember and to give thanks for the life of the Duke of Edinburgh. A number of public figures attended the 45-minute service. There were readings of poetry, music from a choir, and candles were lit to reflect on a lifetime filled with duty. Helen Astle reports. Next night, a visually impaired woman wants Nottingham's trial of e-scooters to be halted because she says they've caused her injury and anxiety. Rachel Pereira says she's been involved in 14 incidents and wants those who flout the law by riding on pavements to be severely punished. Carol Hines reports. Ray Finally tonight, a sausage dog forcibly taken from its owner as they walked along a busy Derbyshire road is back at home. CCTV cap... Wonderful news. Well, that's all from the Late News team. Thanks for joining us. Time now for a look at the weather with Alex. Good night.